Howdy, howdy. Today we are doing Alice in Wonderland and this is a request from Abby. We're gonna get started with the head. So we're going to do an oval shape for the head. So we got an oval. Of course that didn't even connect right there. That's okay. And so when we're looking at the head, Right here where the eye is, the socket's coming in. So we're gonna bring, this is the forehead. Now we're gonna bring this in and then out. Cause that's going to be where it comes in. So then you wanna erase right here. Should look, should look like that right now. Now she also has a nice chin. So from here, you're gonna follow this along and make it go straight. And then you're gonna bring this so it goes up. So it goes right into that circle, okay? And just so you guys know, when I do this, so I just look at the image, I try to draw it. Then in my brain, I try to break down how am I gonna teach you how to draw it. And um, I get a little camera shy. Well, I don't know, crazy. Uh, so I have to do a little sketch here. So then I'm like, okay, so I know where I'm going, but I'm still trying to teach you how I got to that point, okay? So I'm not trying to cheat. It just, I'm trying to think, how am I gonna teach you? So it kind of still looks the same. All right, so now we're gonna go right from here, um, right off here, this is gonna be her neck. And then from this point where it's connected, you're gonna be putting the ear in. And then on that oval, this is where the ear is, so it uh, looks kind of like a raindrop, and then you can erase in there. And then we don't need this in here, so we can erase that too, to make it look more delicate all right so that part is done so as i do she's looking this way and then we are going to go for the crossbar okay so she's looking that direction and on this we are going to be putting where the nose is so you see how it's just touching right there and coming down and then you can erase right there and then her other nostril, it's just a line. It's pretty basic there. All right, so on that line, we're gonna start with the eyes. Um, of course, I did more than one line, so pick a line, Cher, come on. Silly goose. Okay, so we're gonna make, um, so on that line and making the under part of the eye, then you wanna come up and over like a turtle. Okay, same thing on this side. So for this one's gonna look a little different because you're only seeing half of the eye. So it's gonna go like this. Before you get all the way to the side, you wanna stop. Then it's gonna go up. And it's like you're going over, but we're seeing only part of the eye. And then you're gonna connect it like this. Okay. So now we can erase that center line. Oh, that's what's different today. I'm like, what is going on? It's I'm using a different pencil. Dweep. This is actually, this is the pencil I usually draw with um, these kind. I love mechanicals because you never have to sharpen them. But um, usually when I do my drawings, I do regular pencil. Um, but I do like these because then you can, the eraser goes up, and you don't have to sharpen it, it's fabulous. Okay, inside here, we're gonna do the inside of the eye. So you can do a little bucket there. And then in there, you wanna do a shiny and then a big pupil shiny. We'll sharpie that in. So Walt Disney's idea of making Alice in Wonderland was on his mind for 30 years. Yeah, it took him a while to get to it. It's always been on his mind. All right, so then now you wanna do this one. And then when he first started doing it, he did Alice, he did an Alice. I thought I had more information on it, um, but it was with animation. So it was a real girl named Alice, like, a real girl that played Alice. And then um, eventually <laughs> um, he made it into uh, a film, cartoon film, but it started all the way back in 1923. Yeah, it's um, almost a hundred years ago. Wow. All right, so we wanna put the crease line 
right above there. Wow, she looks really bad with no eyelashes. Ah, look at that. And no eyebrows. She looks like an alien. <laughs> oh my goodness, but we're gonna make it come good. So now we're gonna put some eyelashes in her. This is gonna make all the difference here. Yes, and some eyebrows. It's amazing what those things can do. And you can make the upper lid, when you Sharpie, I would Sharpie the upper lid, make it a touch thicker. Okay, let's do this side. Oh, eyelashes make all the difference. Okay, looking better, and then when I color, it looks better, and then her eyebrows. And Disney's the film, it just had a line. That was the eyebrow. Eyebrows have come a long way. So let's erase this part here so we can do the lip. Okay, the lip's a little trickier. So we want to space from here to here. So that's the bow line. And then we want to make, it's like it has like a little Cupid's bow and then bring it down and it has a little bloop. See how cute that is right there? This side's not going to be as much because you're not seeing the whole thing. Then underneath, you're going to parallel that and then it's going to touch. Look at that. So now we have the bottom lip comes from this corner and bring it out. Do the same thing again, corner, bring it out. So you're like, okay, what about the teeth? So from this corner up here, you wanna go down and then she just has a an idea of where the teeth are. She's not showing, usually when they do cartoons, you're not gonna show individual teeth. Actually, even when you paint, it just looks funny. So they just kind of subtly put in where the teeth are. Okay, the unimus. All right, so we're gonna do in shapes, we're gonna put in an oval right here. One oval, and then there's another oval on top here. And then we can shape it to look even better. So this side stays, and this side's gonna go bye bye So we can finish that side off. So, as you can see, it's not perfectly ovaled, but it, it looks pretty good. You can always tweak it, and then down here, this is gonna keep going. All right, she has her headband. Oh, we might as well do this right here. So, erase this part of the oval. Her hair is gonna come out a little ways, and then when it comes to the ear, you can see it's overlapping. And then she has another extra little piece right here. And then now we're gonna do her headband. It looks a little different than my original, but that's okay. We're getting the gist of it. I made her headband a little thicker. What else do I know? Oh, Disney commissioned 30 songs for Alice um, in Wonderland. And he only kept, only 14 made the cut. Mm -hmm. Pretty tough there. If you want to make this come out more a little bit, so when you come out here, you can just make it more harsh line. Just make it more look like mine. Okay. So now, before I do the flowing hair, I'm gonna do her body. So we're gonna make a V right here. And she's got a great collar. So right here, we're doing one collar. And then right off of that, we're gonna do another collar. I'm not gonna make it go very far because her hair right here. So you leave a little space from here to here. Loop it, touch it, and then bring it over. So it's like the hair is swooshing over. And we're gonna do this archway that's her apron and it's gonna come up and touch. And then coming out of here, we've got her apron. Boop. And outside is her sleeve. Do the apron over here. So it's just gonna be a wing up, bring it down and then rest of her apron. And pe peeking out of there, I don't know, maybe an illustration, I don't, I'm gonna make this more rounded. Right there. And then she says an arm coming out, whoosh! And then two arms coming out here, one, two. And then right here is her dress. That's as far as I'm going. Now we can get the hair in there. What else do I know? Oh, so the girl's voice that plays this, her name's Catherine Beaumont, and she was 12 years old such a cutie and um, she also acted out the whole um, script for the animators so they put her on film so she acted it all out so then when the animators are drawing it they could really get the 
real feel for it. Okay, back by her hair. You're gonna come down and then you're gonna make it go behind the arm. So over here, come down and go behind. All right, it is Sharpie time, so let's go. Going to do double sharpie. Okay, so now I'm going to erase my pencil. All right then. So let's start with her pretty blue eyes. So you can do heavier, press down harder along the top, and as you come down, get lighter and lighter. Part of the top and then lighter. Oh, I forgot gray. Hold on a second. Oh, I didn't even put gray on the other one. Oh, then I won't do it. Okay. Usually what I do, I get black. Yeah. I didn't do it on here, but usually underneath the eyes, I give it a little shadow. I think it makes it look a little more real. Okay, see a little shadow in there? All right. Now, I want to do her beautiful lips. They're just red. She has red lipstick on, or just, she's so beautiful, just natural. It's natural red lips, right? That's what they want you to believe. And I probably would put some gray in there too, but we'll just leave it for today. All right, we're gonna use skin color. All over, just a solid medium. I'm pressing on medium. little thing oh this is a fun fact I didn't know which is so cool okay so Alice in Wonderland's voice so cute it is also the voice of Wendy and Peter Pan yes so now I'm gonna have to go back and watch it and like listen for that but I just heard that Disney Plus just took on took off Peter Pan which I was like why anywho Gotta be out there somewhere, right? So those are all the, the basics. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna go around the eyes a little harder. We'll do that some more with our tan, but you don't want it to be too harsh going up, up here. Um, in here, of course it's gonna be darker. We'll do this with tan too. and then around the side of the face, all the way along wherever your Sharpie is. Now you want to go in with the tan. This is what's really going to make it pop. So this is a shadow in here. And do some by her chin. And then of course underneath here. Do a little bit right here. I can see I put some right there. So I went around the eyes. And then I'm going to put just a little bit right here, pushing a little bit harder. And I'm pushed a little higher where her, I think that's called a Cupid's bow, right in there. And around her lips, a little bit around the lips. 
Where else? Oh, let's go around this eye. I'm gonna put some uh, pink eyeshadow on her with pencil, of course, and a little bit here. Okay. I don't know if I did a enough color there, but we're gonna do a little pink on the eyelid. And Abby, I am coming out with a full body Alice, but it's, um, you might have already come out. It's gonna be anime style. I wanted to mix it up a bit, you know? So I'm doing, when I do rosy cheeks, I go always lightly, lightly, lightly go one way. Then I lightly go another way. And then I usually do a little extra in the middle. So same thing over here. One way, another way, and a little extra in the middle. And then a touch on her nose and her eyes. And it looks like it needs a touch more color right here. Okay, so next up is yellow. So we're gonna color the whole thing yellow. I'm gonna do this half of the body. I. You know, I think I'm gonna do that every time and I don't think about it just because it's a lot of coloring and I have done it once. I wish I had more fun facts so. though. I am thinking it'd be fun to do a whole painting of Alice in Wonderland going down the rabbit hole. Okay, so I'm pressing down harder right underneath here. It always is darker under there. The sun doesn't shine as much there so it's a little darker. And I'm gonna do some along the bottom here. Okay, so now I want you to take the tan and we're gonna go along to make it more golden-y. By doing this, it makes the hair look more gold. And we'll go along here. And underneath her ear. And along the bottom here. Okay, I think that looks great. All right, so now let's, all we have left is her blue so it's just the same, matching it with her eyes this is uh, the light light blue and she just has a white the only thing I'm gonna do different is I'm gonna put a shadow right in here but other than that it's just white and then you give it a fun background I originally had flowers all in the background but I thought yeah we'll just keep it simple and then underneath the collar push down harder and along here, and along the edge here. Oh, don't forget the sleeves too. And if you don't like, see how some of it might be missing, then go another direction and it will fill in what you want to get filled in a little bit better. That's what I do. One way, I go another way. Underneath. All right, I'm gonna let you guys finish this up. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. Peace out.